Hello everyone, today another Pokemon Showdown live narration for you against Deal or No Deal. Their team consists of Electros, Coughing, the Dreaded Chinchino, Amolga, Absol, and Semipor. So I'm going to lead off with my Togetic. He leads off with the Absol. It's going to lead off by going with the Toxic because it's always a good move to go for. Um, if he goes for the Night Slash, it does less than half, which is uh, pretty strange. But he actually carries a Lumberry, which is a, I've seen quite a few Absols carry the Lumberry. I'm not exactly sure why, but yeah, I'm just going to go for a Roost now. To get back some HP, and now I am back at full health, so I'm going to go for a Tri-Attack, and that does, I don't know, I guess a decent amount, I guess. I'm going to go for another Tri-Attack, hopefully to hit this thing pretty hard. And now he brings in the Amolga, and now I'm just going to go for a Heal Bell to just get rid of the burn status so I don't have the damage just keep racking up. So I'm going to go for a Roost now because I know I did just see him miss with a Charge Beam which Charge Beam really doesn't do that much to begin with. So yeah, now I'm going to go for a Tri-Attack now and he is with the Charge Beam he does get the special attack boost I do in the try attack and I do get one of the effects that you can get, which is the burn, which is pretty nice. Now he roosts himself and regains some HP. And now I'm gonna go for a try attack one more time. Sees for the charge beam, and now I do take him out with the try attack. So yeah, now he brings in the Electros. I'm going to go for a Roost. And I am able to live the Thunderbolt because I am max special defense plus the Eviolite. So now I'm going to go for a Toxic here. And then I'm going to toss at the Electros. And there's really no point in me staying in. So I'm just going to go for another Roost. As he decides to Volt Switch. And he's going to Volt Switch out. I'm not exactly sure what he's going to Volt Switch out into. He Volt Switches out into a Chinchino. And I'm going to Volt... Or not Volt Switch. I'm just going to bring out my Luxray. And the reason I'm going to do that. Is because I am Choice Scarfed. And I do carry the Super Power. And I know that Chinchino is not going to be able to do anything to me. So I do hit that thing with a Super Power. And that's easily going to annihilate that Chinchino. Chinchino is probably one of the biggest threats in NU. I'm not even sure why it's in the NU tier. It really does not make any sense to me whatsoever. But, what can I do about it? Um, nothing. So, so he brings in the coughing. He just goes for the Will O Wisp on my Gardevoir. But,. I do have the synchronized ability, so now he is burned as well. So my Gardevoir is spec, so I'm just going to go for a Psychic. As he brings back in the Electros, and the Electros gets hit very hard because of the Psychic. I'm going to go for a Psychic one more time, and that's going to take out the Electros. The only part that I was fearing about that Electros coming back in was the possible Sucker Punch that I do see them carry time to time. But luckily for me, he did not have the Sucker Punch, and that is very good. So he brings in the Absol now. I don't want to take a Sucker Punch or any Dart type move, so I'm going to go into my Weezing. He could also have the Pursuit, so it probably was a bad idea to switch out. But I couldn't really do anything because of the me being Specs. I really couldn't switch any moves, and I only had Psychic. And Psychic does not affect Dark-type Pokemon at all. 
So I pretty much had to switch out, so I had to risk. I had to risk it, so yeah. So I bring in my Weezing, which is my defensive wall. I'm gonna try to get up a Will O Wisp. If he hits me with a times two Night Slash because of the sword stance. And that does over half with my life or not my life or with my leftovers, I think I can live another one. Which I can. I'm gonna go for another Will O Wisp. And I finally do hit it. As he hit me with the night slash, it almost takes me out. But now I can pretty much just stay in here. And yeah, so now he finally hits me with another night slash and takes me out. With the critical hit, that really doesn't matter. The critical hit didn't matter. So now I'm gonna bring out my Luxray. Because I'm just gonna go for. A wild charge this time instead of the superpower. I'm hoping I make the right play. And I do. And that is going to take out that Absol. Absol. Easily. I don't know why I'm stumbling over my words right now. Could be because I'm tired, but whatever. I want to make videos. So. He brings back out in the burn coughing. I'm just going to go for another wild charge. He's probably going to live that because coughing and Eviolite. He does get the Will-O-Wisp off, which is pretty bad for me because I am Choice Scarf. But I'm not like a specially attacking set. I'm a physical set, so this is going to be pretty bad. But I still am able to take out the coughing with the Wild Charge, so that is good. He's going to bring out his last Pokemon, which is Semipore. And I am going to go for try to go for a wild charge. I, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be able to take it out or not because I am burned. But, yeah, he's actually faster because he is choice scarfed. And he does take me out with the hydro pump. So, I'm going to bring in my Lapras here. And I'm going to go for the thunder. That's so I know he can only hit me with a hydro pump. I do have the water absorbability, which is really great for me, so he cannot really do anything. So he does forfeit the battle because he knows he cannot do anything. So that is pretty much the game. I win 3-0, pretty much, because his semi poor is going to die next turn anyway. So, that is pretty much the game. I really hope you guys enjoyed the battle as much as I did. That is it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.